It is uh, with great pleasure that I join you as we commemorate the 70th founding anniversary of the Federation of Free Farmers. We celebrate today seven fruitful decades of your long-standing cooperation and partnership with government in sustaining development in the areas of agri-fisheries, agrarian reform, and agricultural cooperatives, amongst others. Through your programs and initiatives, you have effectively elevated and empowered the voices of our small farmers, our fishers, and rural workers across the nation. This noble pursuit is the very essence of what my father, President Ferdinand Marcos Sr., strongly believed in and a belief that I have certainly inherited. This is why it is worth recalling how we championed the cause of the Federation of Free Farmers and expressed this unwavering support for this organization. It was because you shared a common goal of advancing social reform and rural development in our country that this partnership was strengthened. Indeed, this is the kind of uplifting synergy that we in government anticipate from our private sector partners, who ardently champion social justice and actively contribute to our nation's socio-economic advancement. So I urge all the members of the FFF to keep up the legacy of the founding members, keep it alive, stay true to the mission of uplifting all the lives of every Filipino rural worker. In line with that collective mission, I wish to refer one of the top priorities of this administration, which is the enhancement of our agricultural connectivity, the guarantee of our food supply, the affordability of our food supply, and our lessening dependence on importation. This includes pursuing policies that will support and protect the overall welfare of our farmers, our fishers, our manufacturers, and the consuming public. This administration is steering the growth of our fisheries and farming industries with urgency. With a substantial budget of 85.88 billion pesos for 2023, and a proposed budget of 92.4 billion pesos for 2024, I am optimistic that we can propel the modernization of our agri-fisheries sector. Among the many endeavors that we are pursuing is the strengthening of the various associations and cooperatives so that they can provide business and investment opportunities to their beneficiaries. This will definitely elevate the standard of living, improve the lives of the farmers and our fishers and that of their families. Let me also mention that as of 2023, the Department of Agriculture has allocated 4.73 billion pesos as an investment for the large-scale agriculture and fishery mechanization and modernization. You have my assurance that the government is striving to implement efficient mechanization strategies to reduce post-harvest losses and to ensure the optimal yield at an at a affordable cost. Another priority is to increase the exportation of our agricultural products, which has been an essential driver in the competitiveness of our economy. All of these plans, these programs, prioritizations are now being undertaken because of your constant cooperation with the government and your genuine service towards our farmers and our local communities. You have solidified the presence, your presence over the past seven decades and I eagerly anticipate an even deeper collaboration given our shared commitment. I thus enjoy all the men and women of FFF to continuously take part in supporting and empowering our farmers and fisherfolk. Malaki pong trabaho ang ating hinaharap dahil kailangan po nating ayusin ang buong sistema ng agrikultura na napambayaan na ng matagal na uh, mula pa siguro noong uh, nagsimula ang agricultural reform uh, noong uh, panahon pa na pa na ang aking ama. Ngayon ay maraming na pagbabago ng iba na ang mundo na kailang ikot na ang mundo. Kaya kailangan po tayo, tayo naman ay kailangan tingnan natin kung ano ang mga pangailangan hindi ng ating mga magsasaka ng ating mga isa upang maging mas maganda ang kanilang buhay kadahil 
ang madalas nating marinig ay sinasabi natin kailangan natin itaas ang ating mga yield, kailangan natin itaas ang ating harvest at ang productivity natin. Totoo yan. Totoo po yan. Kailangan po natin gawin yan. Ngunit huwag po natin kakalimutan na dapat naman ay ang hanap buhay ng ating mga magsasaka at ang ating mga mangingisda ay maalagaan at maipaganda dahil yan po ang uh, yan po ang hangarin nating lahat para sa ating mga magsasaka at sa ating mga mangingisda. Kaya po, ito po ay napakalaking trabaho kaya kailangan po natin hindi kaya ng pamahala na nag-iisa na gawin lahat ito. Kaya kailangan po natin ang tulong ninyo, kailangan namin ang sipag ninyo, kailangan namin ang advice ninyo. Dahil kayo ang nakaharap sa mga problema ng uh, agrikultura sa dinadaanan natin ngayon. Kaya po ay asahan po ninyo ang ating pamana, ang inyong, pa, ang inyong gobyerno ay nandito po upang gawin ang lahat, upang tulungan ang ating mga magsasaka na makapag-produce ng magandang ani na makapag-pamisa na, ng uh, uh, sapat para sa ating mga kababayan at may pagbili naman ito sa presyo na abot kaya ng ating mga mamamayan. At kasabay pin dyan, eh, kailangan naman eh, may magandang hanap buhay ang ating mga magsasaka at ang ating mga fisher po. And that's why I look forward to your endeavors that will contribute to our shared vision of Bagong Pilipinas and help us march towards an achieving a food and nutrition secure Philippines. Once again, happy 70th founding anniversary. Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikiisa at servisyo. Mabuhay ang FFF. Mabuhay ang mga magsasaka at mangingisdang Pilipino. Maraming salamat po at magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.